Hi there! <laughs> Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about autoresponders. Why do we need an autoresponder? Well, autoresponders help you communicate with your audience. Now, imagine you got a hundred thousand people that want to talk to you or you want to talk to them, you want to email them, you want to send out offers and whatever. It would be so much easier to have something that could do that automatically, right? Also, you want to create campaigns, different campaigns. You might have different lists of people that you are communicating with. You might have a internet marketing business, plus you might be into health and fitness. Uh, you might be into cooking, so you might have more than one genre that you're doing. And so you're going to have different lists and it's easier to have everything all set up in one area. So you can set up a campaign, you can email these people, you can time it when you want it to go out, when you don't want it to go out, you get all kinds of different feedback from the autoresponder itself. How many people opened up your email, how many people bounced. It, there's just so much information and an autoresponder is very cheap you can get an autoresponder for $15 a month I do I use get response for my autoresponder and it is fantastic I've been using get response for many years I've tried other autoresponders like MailChimp I've tried a Weber I've, I've tried a lot of them but I always like get response and I always they, they each have their own pros and cons, but I just seem to like get response better. So everything I'm going to show you and teach you is going to be on the get response platform. But just remember that all autoresponders have the same kind of technology so that even though something might be worded a little different, it, everything's done the same way. So if you follow it along with me and you already have a different autoresponder, that's great. If you want to get get response, you just go to getresponse.com and it's easy to sign up. I'll show you how to do that in, the, in this in this lecture here. So just follow along with me. I'm just going to show you how to create your account. I'm going to show you how to also create a campaign and manage that campaign through an autoresponder series. So let's get started on this lecture. Okay, everybody, I want to welcome you back to my dashboard here. Um, so this is Get Response. If you go to just type in GetResponse.com and click on Go, you'll you'll come up to this page. Now, I just want to mention one thing too: that Get Response. If you notice here, to start your free trial, you just have to put an email address and a password. That's all. They don't ask you for any credit card. Most other autoresponders are going to ask you for a credit card. You're going to sign up with the email address and enter a credit card. And if you don't like them, after 30 days, they're going to charge a credit card. Get response won't even shut your account down if you go past your 30 days. They'll just say, you know, you need to upgrade your account if you want to continue with the service. But they're not going to make you lose everything that you created, you know, and, and, and everything. So that's another reason why I like GetResponse. So if you don't have an account with GetResponse, you know, just put in your email address and your password and click on sign up. Bam, you got an account. Now, just remember, I'm, I'm going to log in here. Just remember that whatever your email address is that you sign up with. OK, after you sign up with uh, with GetResponse, you're going to come to uh, this window right here. Now this is where all the magic happens, okay? Now, I just want you to see one thing here. This right here, this, this little course, it's a course that you can take. It's called Take You From Zero uh, to 657. Well, it's saying take, go from 657 subscribers to 10,000 plus subscribers uh, but if you're just starting out you're gonna see zero there go from zero to 10,000 subscribers in 90 days 60 days it's it's the same course 
but you can do it in a shorter amount of time or a longer amount of time. It just depends on how much time that you have. And if you've never worked with an autoresponder before, this is a super great course. You learn how to use everything in this system. And even if you went to another autoresponder, you'll have all that knowledge too. So I highly recommend you take this course if you join Get Response for your you know, free 30-day trial. And I would definitely do that. So just remember that when you first sign up and say your email like mine is rlbert856 at hotmail or gmail.com that's, that's what's going to be your campaign when you first log in okay so if you start a campaign it's going to say affiliate marketing and one thing about autoresponders when you're working in or autoresponder you want to be in the campaign that you want to be working in so with me for with photography for instance I don't have a photography if I go to my campaigns I don't have a photography campaign here so I'm gonna to go to create a campaign and this is what you might want to do after you sign up and you know you don't want a you know Ron at hotmail.com for your campaign right you want to make your own campaign so you're going to go here and you're going to create a campaign so once you get here you're going to want to create or give it a campaign name now remember you cannot use capital letters or number well you can use numbers you can't use capital letters um, and you cannot separate words with just a space I'll show you so if I wanted like my I got my photography store so if I type in my and I want another word I have to do an underscore photography and then another underscore and put store okay now if this campaign name is already taken it's gonna say eh, sorry about that you gotta create another campaign name so all right, so let's create the campaign and see. Well, bada bang, what do you know? <laughs> the campaign name wasn't taken. That amazes me. Okay, so I'm happy about that. So now I have a campaign, my photography store. While you're here, you might as well decide right away what do you what do you want out of this campaign? What do you do you want to just build an email list? Do you want to build a client list? Do you want to build a list of people that you're going to communicate with on a regular basis? For me, for a photography store, I'm going to want to have regular customers that want to deal with me and I want to deal with them. So I would want them to have not only opt-in, but a double opt-in. Then this is what I mean by that. So if you go to campaign settings now this is my campaign my photography store I'm an English speaking person so it's in English um, subscribe via email I, you, you can mainly keep all this stuff the way it is okay it's very basic by law you have to keep your um, address in there now on the profile now you can make a title for this campaign if you want to but it's already my photography store so if people sign up for your for your list and they signed up through your photography store then you might confuse them with a different name uh, description now you might want to put a description in there if you have a description for your store uh, in just a short description you know you could say like you know, welcome to my photography store and if you have a logo you can put that in there and this will be your RSS feed so basically you can change whatever you want in here to, to fit your needs okay everybody's going to be different here's the important part the permissions now if you want people to double opt-in which means once they sign up they go directly to a confirmation page 
that says you have something else to do. You have to confirm your opt-in to the My Photography Store website or, or list or whatever it's going to say. If you are an internet marketer or an affiliate marketer, all you want to do is get people on your list. You don't care if they give you a name because most of the times, the more information you ask of people to input onto a form, the more likely it is they're going to bounce. Okay. On the other hand, the more information you ask and the more they fill in, the more complete of a profile you're going to have on a person. It's going to be a higher quality lead than somebody that just puts in an email, email address. There are people that just sign up for stuff that don't have any intention on buying anything from you because all they want is free stuff. So you could have an email list like that, that is not responsive at all, or you could have an email list that is responsive to you. It's up to you. Most affiliate marketers, internet marketers, what they do is they uncheck all of these so that there's no double opt-in whatsoever. So the person will go straight to the offer after they sign up. It's just whatever kind of business you want. But for my photography store, I'm going to have them double opt-in. Now you can customize the confirmation message here. And it depends on what you are doing. For me, it's, it's photography or am I giving away an ebook? Am I giving away uh, tickets? You know, whatever. But here you're going to click down and there's, there's all kinds of templates here that you can, that you can use. I would suggest going through these templates. For instance, um, right now we're at the default template. If you go to default two, it's, it's going to have this format right here. You can't edit any of this stuff except for right here and right here. Okay. Now, like I say, I would go through this. Okay. Now if somebody's asking if you're offering a free ebook you know you might want to use something like that okay now every time that you create something i don't like that there every time you can always preview it okay but the preview looks exactly like it is because i didn't really write nothing up here okay so I'm just saying you, you can customize the fields depending on what it is that your campaign is all about. I hope that makes sense. I don't want to confuse anybody, but th this is very important. Now you could also have a custom confirmation page. This would be the best. This is what I would suggest to everybody. So if you have, if you make your own custom confirmation page, you can click here and you could add the URL to your custom confirmation page. Okay. And I'll show you how to do that in the later lectures. But for now, I'm just showing you the basics here on this get response. So right now we have it set up. So they're going to do a double opt-in. Okay. So notice now I'm in my photography store campaign. If you wanted to change a campaign, all you have to do is come down here and click on a campaign. You just change campaigns. You see what I'm talking about here? So now if you have a campaign that you don't want in here, like say your email address that you first signed up for, all you would have to do is go to go to the campaign list. And let's say you didn't want this campaign no more. See right here, you just hover over the actions and you could delete the campaign. So you don't need to keep the campaign. So you, if you didn't want your email address as a campaign, which I can't see why you would, 
you just delete it. Or if you wanted to make something your prime campaign, all you would have to do is take it and you could say you want to make it a default campaign. So that's how you could do that. I started my campaign, my photography store. So that's the campaign I'm going back to. Okay, so far I showed you how to sign up for GetResponse and how to create a campaign. And in the next lecture, we're going to talk about opt-in forms and how to use them, how to set up your landing page, how to set up your thank, thank you page and your confirmation page. So stay tuned for the next lecture, okay?